Greetings. Here we have a Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And with the requisites, a required triangle, the, with the A, the B, and the C, the C being the hypotenuse, and the right angle opposite that hypotenuse. But, what about, instead of the sum of two squares equaling a third square, how about adding up three squared numbers so that their sum is yet another squared number? So let's uh, pick a small, easy whole number. Uh, for example, 2. Then I'm going to add 1 to it. Another 2 plus a 1 gives a 3. And then multiply the 2 times 3. And finally, to that product of 6, add 1. Alright, 2, 3, 6, 7. Well, I am claiming that this is true. Two squared plus three squared plus six squared is seven squared. Well, let's check that. Two squared is two times two, which is four. Three squared is just three times itself, which is nine. Six squared, six times six, which is thirty-six. I want to add these three numbers, a four, nine, and a thirty-six. I'll see if I can make this nine a little darker. Four plus nine plus thirty-six, forty-five, forty-nine. Yeah, it looks good. Forty-nine is indeed seven squared. Seven times seven. And try another example. Ah, uh, separate that. I can start with five. And add one. And then multiply. A little loopy three there. And finally, add one again. And claiming five squared plus six squared plus thirty squared equals. 31 squared. Okay, so we have uh, and, and 6 squared, 36, 30 squared, that's also very easy. And 31 squared, do it on the calculator or just add these numbers up, the result will be the same. 961. And that checks out, just like this one had checked out. So, looks like we have a rule for building three squared numbers whose sum is a fourth squared number. Start with a number, add one, multiply those two, add one again, put in all the little twos, exponents. But does this always work? Can you always pick any number where you add one and then multiply and then add one again and build this sum of squares? Can it be done with decimals and fractions? Or how about irrational numbers or imaginary numbers? Well, those will be in other videos, so uh, check those out and see if that rule always works. Enjoy. Thanks for viewing.